Hollywood, where we drink like the stars and show you how to make the beverages you've all seen in your favorite movies. My name is Chrissy, and I will be your host for tonight. Now, we've got so much to go through and so little time. Now, let us line your stomach with a delicious, hearty glass of butter beer from Harry Potter. But just in case you don't know what butter beer is, we've got a little tape for all you muggles out there. Enjoy. Butter beer. You've seen it and you've definitely wanted to try it. Though popular in the wizarding world, it's yet to hit pubs and bars near you. Described in the book as tasting a little less sickly than butterscotch, it's served at numerous locations in the wizarding world and has a very slight alcoholic content. Seen here being drank by original cast members, you may see that there's different colours, shapes and sizes. Ingredients differ and many people have different recipes, but the ones we'll be making will have a certain alcoholic rum kick. Now back to you in the studio. Alcohol, he has mm -hmm. a physical problem in drinking the alcohol. Oh, uh, okay, so, so we can't actually get it into yeah, it. I probably shouldn't have told you that, but uh, just between you and us. Right, there we go. So I'm just going to pour 250 millilitres of cream soda in there. My favourite ingredient of this drink is whipped cream. Cool. Go for it. Give how it about, a... How much should we put on? Make it look pretty. <laughs> There you go. Doesn't that look beautiful? Do you want to give it a try? My beard might get in the way, but let's give it a go. Mm. How's that? It's delicious. Yeah? Cream soda really works. Does it taste like the actual one on, on set? It's pretty damn close. Pretty damn close. Mm. I'm not sure though, like, if it it's really taste designed good. for beards and moustaches. No, I don't think so. I didn't, I didn't trim enough before I got here, so... <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, um, well, Thank you so much, Steph, for helping pleasure, me make this pleasure. drink. We're going to now, look at that. Coming up next, possibly the most iconic movie cocktail ever, we'll be deciphering the super suave, certainly scrumptious Secret Service cocktail with no introduction needed, the vodka martini. One medium dry vodka martini. Mixed like you said, sir, and not stirred. Thank you. Anything else, sir? No, that's all. Very well, sir. Medium dry martini, lemon peel, shaken, not stirred. Vodka? Of course. We'll have dinner at once. Can I do something for you, Mr. Bond? Uh, just a drink. A martini, shaken, not stirred. Yes, I do. Uh, oh, that's uh, stirred, not shaken. That was right, wasn't it? Perfect. Cheers. Cheers. Every man wants to be him, and every woman wants to be with him. We all want a bit of Bond. Especially our next guest, who will be playing the villain Ernest Stavro, Blofeld's, Blofeld's son and second in command, Brian Blofeld in the upcoming Bond film Spectre. Please welcome to the show, Jack Blake, everybody. Christy, it's fantastic to be here. How are Great, you? Great, I'm good. How are you? I'm just so well, thank you. I've just been so busy, but it's just great to be here. That's good. All right, now let's get cracking on with this undercover cocktail. We are going to be making the vodka martini. Now, I haven't got a license to spill, so we are Stop. going to have to be careful. <laughs> right, so we are going to start with 60 millilitres of vodka. A generous measure. A very a generous yes, it's very measure. generous. You're going to have to eye it, though, because I haven't got a specific measure for 60 millilitres. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Where Do as you please. This? Just, just, just get it in nice and gently. Yeah. About that much, if you're being generous, wouldn't you say? Yeah, no, that looks about right. There That's we go. Good. And then we're going to go with a shot of vermouth. Now, this is actually called a wet martini because there's the whole amount of vermouth in it rather than see, just yeah. half or none at all. You're going to pop that in there. Going to give it a quick shake. Get that shaken up, yeah, go on. There we go. Give it a bit of a shake. Bond wouldn't have it any other way, would he? Nope, no, he wouldn't. Shaken, not stirred, as he says. We're just going to pour that in there. That just looks spectacular. There we go. And then we're just going to give it a little bit of lemon. It's funny, you know, Bond is the most, you know, he's the most famous, uh, you know, martini drinker. Yes, he is. Um, You've also got people sort of like Humphrey Bogart. Apparently, mm. he has won almost every time he films. Yeah, that's true. There you go. That is so true. Okay. 
Archie. Now just look at this, a view to kill. What an incredibly easy and effortlessly cool cocktail. Like it? Well, that is just good. delicious. <laughs> Make sure you give this one a go try, guys. And remember, though diamonds are forever, hangovers are only temporary. <laughs> Yummy. You think I can have a sip of that? Be my guest. I gotta know what a $5 shake tastes like. You can use my straw. I don't have cooties. Yeah, but maybe I do. Cooties I can handle. Alright. God damn, it's a pretty fucking good milkshake. Told you. I don't know if it was worth five dollars, it was pretty fucking good. Welcome our possibly lucky contestant, Dunya, everybody. Woo! Now the challenge is to recreate the five dollar shake. And we have a tape from my co-host Felix Robinson explaining what to do. Take it away, Felix. Hi, Chrissy. We're going to give you the $5 shake recipe in a quick and simple video. Let's go. The contestant will be given the following ingredients to help make the $5 shake. They'll have to assemble them all into the blender and have a finished product in under 30 seconds. Now, let's get on to the process. Pour in 250 milliliters of milk. Add four heaped tablespoons of yogurt. Add one whole banana. Don't forget to dice it. Add one heaped tablespoon of sugar, two caps of vanilla extract, up to five tablespoons of vanilla ice cream, and one cheeky shot of vodka. Give it all a blend. God damn, that's a pretty f***ing good milkshake. Don't know about three past twenty-four. That's a pretty f***ing good milkshake. And that is the five-dollar shake recipe. Back to you in the studio, Christy. <laughs> There's your glass. Thank so, you. Cherries, ice cream. Tastes good. There's your yogurt. Measure it out, however. Sugar and milk and your vanilla extract. There we go. We're going to give you 30 seconds. Okay. Go. <laughs> It's as messy as Tarantino. A little bit of milk. There you go. Nope, that's good. Shove the lid on. Push the button on the top. Where's the button? There it is. There's the button. I did it. There we go. Perfect. There you go. Take the lid off. Let's give it a try. Mmm. That actually looks quite good. Jacoma. Looks amazing. There you go. Give it a try. Tastes amazing. <laughs> there we go. All right. So do you think you managed to do it within 30 seconds? Well, I hope so. I really want to see that movie. Mm, that's actually quite good. Are you a fan of Tarantino? Of or? course I am. Did I win the tickets? I don't know yet. We're gonna, they're just tallying the vlog. I can just put okay. some whipped cream on there, because I do actually quite like whipped cream. <laughs> that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. yeah? Okay, let's pop some cherries on there. Just make it look pretty. I'm sure Mia Wallace would be really, really happy. There we please, go. Please tell me if I won the tickets. And you won the tickets. Yes! Thank you! <laughs>